Well, number one, I want to say it's not the unforgivable sin. You can be forgiven and you can be restored. It's, it's, it's sin. Remember Jesus who met the adulterous woman? He did not cast stones at her. He didn't condemn her. He didn't justify them wanting to exert judgment on her. But he said, go your way and sin no more because I'm not condemning you. And I want you to know whoever you are, this is an anonymous question, that we don't condemn you. We'll be honest enough and love you enough, which you already know to confirm. It's like, yeah, it's wrong, it's sin. And there's a lot of different reasons why this happens. But what I would say to you is, number one, you can be forgiven. And I believe, I don't know your marriage, but I believe that with God's help, your marriage can be restored. Yeah, but what I would encourage you to do is the longer the secret lies in the dark, the more toxic and the more cancerous it will become to you and to your marriage. Because if you're concerned about getting a divorce, I just want you to know if you don't tell him, eventually it will lead to divorce. Because you will never be close, you will never be intimate again, it will eat you alive from the inside or it will become a pattern that you repeat unless it's brought to the light. How you bring it to the light is important. I think uh, I would encourage you, number one, first thing is call the church office and have a meeting with a pastor here so that we can walk with you through that and invite then uh, a process uh, to inform your husband in a way that gives him dignity, gives you dignity, but also sets before you a pathway of healing and reconciliation. The Bible says, take, make sure that those, those parts of the body, Hebrews, I think it's chapter 12, talks about the parts of the body that are out of joint, to make sure that with grace that you help set those so that they do not become gangrenous. Well, this is a part of your life that right now is out of joint, and if it's not dealt with, is going to develop gangrene, and it's, you're gonna lose your marriage, you're gonna lose your peace, you're gonna, you're gonna lose your... Uh, your conscience, you're gonna become hard-hearted to that. We think we can keep secrets like that. We cannot. It eats us alive from the inside. And so the quickest thing, the best thing that we can do is to confront it, confess it, ask for grace, ask for forgiveness. Uh, your, your husband, I don't know who your husband is. I don't know who you are. Uh, but I know this, that if there is a chance for your marriage to be healed and restored, it starts with confession and full disclosure and asking of forgiveness. And so that's what I would encourage you to, to yeah, do. Definitely. And the enemy loves darkness. Yeah. So that's where he'll play with your mind and all of those, the vain imaginations, just all of it is in the darkness and bringing that to light. Um, you know, you just need to trust the Lord in that and yeah. be repentive and, um, and all those things and just really trust the Lord in that. Yeah. So. And accept consequences. I mean, there are consequences to our actions, but there's mercy as well.